going to, we are, we are saying, we are saying for the first time, we are going to allow you to think of the answer, and whoever is ready, you're going to come up and answer the question. I'll read the question again. How can you highlight the problems in Kampala City, or actually better still, in your city? Judges, are we okay with that? From the city they come from? Yeah? Because some of you come from different cities? Is that right? Is that okay, ladies? Is that okay to be queens? Is that okay? Okay? How can you highlight, or what problems can you highlight from the city you come from? And what would be your course of action to solve them? Whoever is ready, you have two minutes to answer the question. Please come up. Teenage pregnancies. 
and because we do not have schools, we do not have enough energy to go to school, we do not have enough scholastic materials to take us through school, there are a lot of teenage pregnancies. And we, when these girls go into teenage pregnancies, they cannot afford a living in my community. Today I advocate for better education, the soul of, the soul of, the soul of early marriages, the soul of dropping out of girls from school. Thank you.
let me also thank uh, all the media, the media houses that are here. There has been horizontal and vertical integration in the media, and it has been consumed not only in the country but globally. A big hand to the media. The contest has been extremely, very, um, I would like to say, very difficult, and it's been a very difficult choice. But we've come a long way, and Mama has worked so hard. I want to thank you, Mama Nayonyo, for the excellent work and commitment that you've put into this. You've burned the midnight candle, but without you and your support, the support team in the rear, this would not have been possible. Thank you very much. I must say, going forward, I think the greatest point that we have here, the designers, the ladies can see Uganda's talent. Uh, this design, the dresses they've been putting on, have been extremely, uh, what I could say, out of breathtaking. And uh, I want to say that uh, you all look very beautiful. Thank you very much. For Uganda, this, I see many people who have come, but to say the minimum, Uganda, these ladies are going to send Uganda at the global level for the Miss World Contest. And I would like to say that Miss Uganda must now partner with uh, the Ministry of Tourism so that we can get the support. And I want to assure you that we will take it to the highest office to ensure that the Ministry of Tourism gives Miss Uganda the necessary financial support you need. Let me not take all your time. I would like to thank all of you who have come. You all look very, very glamorous. De bonne. And once again, thank you very much for coming. And I want to say that we will have the words. We are now waiting for the final uh, word from you, Mama, so that we know who the winner is, second runner-up, and so on and so forth. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, Miss Uganda has been with the Purpose Project, and we have partners that we work with or that we partner with. Some come to us, the others we go to. I would like to recognize in a special way my friend, my brother, my baby brother, Humphrey Narimanya. I don't know if he's still around of Richard and Uganda. For your encouraging words always. For your support, for what you did for me when we are starting this journey. You don't know what it meant, but I believe that one day you will. We have sort of the same story. We struggle and try to bring up the young people, the youth, you know, their issues and all. Humphrey, you don't know what my your partnership means to me. Someday you will know. And then during COVID, we worked a lot with an organization that also believed and reached out to us. Wells of Life, Harry and Pasco. Adrian, thank you so much. And we are looking forward. I've already gotten a call from Pasco saying, is it too early for Miss Uganda to start working in April after she's crowned? Thank you. We need more partners like that. I would like to again, in a special way, thank Nell Breweries for coming back to this journey. Because the first three, four years happened because you were in it with the brand rent. If it was not for the first three years with you, maybe we will not still be here today. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Other partners we've worked with along the way, uh, Esther from Girls Forum International, thank you so much for your support, your guidance. We really appreciate you. Africa with our menstrual health uh, program, thank you so very much for donating those parts so we can take them to the girls that need them so much. UNFPA, the Danish Embassy, we thank you for all the support.
qualities like patients have. So patients is not here because we feel sorry for her, but because she auditioned, she had what it takes, and she's here today. And the organization that made us able to cater to the extra cost of having patients in boot camp with an interpreter is light for the world. Sylvester and your team, CBM, thank you. And this connect was because of my brother and friend still, Humphrey. Thank you very much. Isibat University, we believe in girls fathering their education. So for the scholarships, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Guild President, thank you very much, Vice Chancellor. Prima Aguan. 